Hi everyone, I'm going to talk about this natal chart you can see and uh, this is the natal chart of an anonymous person that well uh, he suffered an unfortunate event early in his life his mother committed suicide when he was only 13 years old so this is an important and traumatic event that I thought it could be uh, uh, symbolized in his natal chart and uh, well I have to admit that I needed um, like maybe 15 minutes uh, to realize that uh, using the marine method uh, is good uh, to find uh, what uh, really happened to this person but because I'm a, I'm a, a beginner um, this was not easy um, I'm gonna use the pointer uh, look at the first we, we have to identify because we we want to find uh, why the mother had to die uh, so prematurely and we have to find first the significator of the mother and uh, Marin would say that well Marin said that the mother is is attributed to the fourth house and not the tenth like the rest of the tradition here I'm gonna follow Marin and I'm gonna I'm gonna use the fourth house for the mother and first of all because there is there is no planets in the fourth um, I look at the moon because it's the ruler of the fourth and because moon by nature is the, uh, the mother uh, and so it rules the fourth so I thought the moon would be the mother S symbolized symbolize the, the mother and well this is this was hard for me to see at first glance because just look at the natal chart forget this at this moment forget uh, the solar return we will talk about the solar return for the year the the mother committed suicide and uh, but first of all we're gonna focus in the natal chart and at first glance it seems not too bad because well she she's not making hard aspects to the malefics and well the moon is the moon is contained by the malefics and but I'm not gonna talk about containment because I think Marin didn't use containment too much that uh, is more about the Hellenistic and maybe medieval astrology uh, which is stressed a lot of importance uh, to the containment which is the malefics between the the moon so the moon is separating uh, is separating Saturn but is applying Mars anyway the the Sun is here between the containment so Sun is like rescuing the moon but anyway I'm not gonna talk about uh, this technique because I think Marin didn't use it too much and he stressed a lot of importance to the the kind of aspect that the planets make so why why the mother committed suicide if these aspects are by trine well Saturn 
is not is it looks like peregrine I'm not sure but it looks like that like Mars so these are peregrine uh, not in the detriment or fall so they are not too much uh, in, in bad state Saturn is combust so Saturn is maybe is in a bad state but anyway these are trines well I would expect uh, something a little bit maybe uh, bad something uh, bad happening to the mother but not a thing like committing suicide because these are sextile and trying to the molephics and well anyway um, uh, why why <laughs> sorry my, my my English my English is 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 not good so sorry guys um, uh, I asked I asked myself uh, why the mother committed suicide if she is not bad aspected and I came to a conclusion uh, using the marine method about why she did and first first of all uh, we have to uh, know that the house of the death of the mother is the 11th marine would use always always derivative houses always so the mother is the fourth and the eighth from the fourth is the eleventh so the eleventh is the death of the mother and uh, well if you remember if you read uh, uh, the 21st book of Astrologia Gallica I can't remember the chapter, but he tells us that imagine the ascendant is in areas like in this natal chart, and Saturn is making a trine here in in Leo, and Mars is making a trine here. <coughs> in Sagittarius the aspect of Saturn would be unfortunate even being in, in, in trying to the ascendant first because by nature Saturn is a malefic but it would be an very unfortunate because Saturn is in fall in Aries so Saturn making a trine to the to a cusp in Aries is like almost like being Saturn in Aries. So that's what Marin told us. It's a kind of reception, a bad reception, but it, it has to involve an aspect, always an aspect. Uh, without aspect there is no bad reception like uh, well, John Frawley uses a counter reception even without aspect but Marin says that count counter receptions are valid but it needs an aspect so this is it has sense for me so Saturn making a trine to an aspect in a trine to the cusp a cusp in areas is unfortunate while Mars making a trine would be a little bit fortunate uh, a little bit fortunate because uh, Mars is a malefic but he's making a trine and he meets he uh, it's domicile because Mars is in domicile in areas so this is a good thing to consider uh, uh, analyzing charts and look at this, look at the moon which is the mother, what is she expecting by trying using Regia Montana's houses like Marin did the moon trines at the cusp of the 11th, so the death of the mother, so the mother aspects by trying 
her death, her own death, the ace from the fours. And why this shrine is bad? Why this this shrine is no good? Because moon is like almost like being in Capricorn because this trine falls in Capricorn which is the detriment of the moon so this is unfortunate the moon meets the death and in the sign of the of uh, detriment and what else well uh, you can see that well this is a minor testimony here uh, Mars is by nature a killer it can kill and the suicide is more is well this is a a well it, Saturn by nature is death but but killing because you're killing yourself maybe is more about Mars Mars is in the house of the death of the mother, so the killer is in the ha is in the house that kills. So this is a strong testimony of the suicide of the mother, and even this is the moon is applying a trine to Mars. This is a little bit unfortunate because even if this a trine is making a a trine to Mars in the eighth from the fourth. So this this is pretty unfortunate for the mother. But I found a, a better testimony looking at the, the sextile of the moon to Saturn. Because, because Saturn by nature is death and by the termination rules the death of the mother, day 11th is ruled by Saturn and Saturn is making a sextile to the mother which at first glance seems not too much bad not too bad but the moon is uh, by making this sextile to Saturn is like meeting the fall of the moon so this is pretty unfortunate because Scorpio is the fall of the moon. This is a, like a bad reception because the aspect um, but I think that this is this is pretty enough and I can't find anything else something else and well if you are a skilled astrologer I, uh, I'm pretty sure that you would find uh, using the marine method not using different methods we can because other other astrologers would, would use the radical eighth and come to the same conclusions and that we are sticking with the marine method and it works it needs that you investigate and uh, and work a lot but in the end you you have results I think his method is a really good one is a really good one and well I'm gonna talk now about the, the solar return uh, I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about the solar return just two or three aspects uh, that are relevant in the solar return uh, Marin said that uh, we have to try to find in the solar return uh, patterns that uh, are similar to what is offered in the natal chart so the moon by making this sextile to Saturn and by making this trying to the eighth from the fourth, the death of the mother, and um, making this trying to Mars in the death, in the house of the death of the mother means that the mother is going to die, and it's gonna be significant because 
the mother died when the native was young so that is tra traumatic and these things these determinations uh, we have to to find them in the solar return and this is pretty it's pretty obvious that she was going to die this year because well what is she, what is the moon doing because the moon is the mother what is she doing in the solar return well you can see the moon in the solar return is opposing Mars solar return Mars which by the termination in the natal chart means the death of the mother the 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 event of committing suicide so moon opposes Mars this is pretty unfortunate and this was going to be a an important this was because it happens in an in angular houses because the moon and Mars fall in the ascendant of the solar return and Mars falls in the descendant of the solar return so angular angular houses so this was going to be uh, really important uh, for the native and well and you can see also that that the moon the natal moon is opposing solar return Saturn and well this is uh, pretty clear about why she committed suicide because Saturn by nature is death and by determination it rules the death of the mother the 11th so this opposition is, is pretty important more the so when we look at uh, the at Saturn which is in full in Aries so these trines and sextiles which are in the end uh, unfortunate uh, because the determinations and the, re the reception which is bad this comes even worse in the solar return because the, there are oppositions moon Mars and moon Saturn so this is pretty clear about why she had to commit suicide and well uh, I think this is this is pretty pretty enough. Um, well, you can you can make any any comment um, in the Facebook group. You can make corrections. You can make additions. And this would be it would be nice for me uh, to hear some opinions about about this video and because I think the, the marine method is a really good one I think it's the best method um, so we are finished thank you for for watching and see you next time thanks